How's it going guys? It's Rejunky here and in today's video we're going to be talking about Android file host and we're going to be showing you how to get a user account and then how to request developer access and the kind of the difference between these two concepts. So first thing you're going to do is go ahead and register. I'm going to go ahead and do that and put in my account information and there you go we're registered. I'm going to go ahead and save that password but you should get an email now and in the email we'll have a confirmation to confirm your email address. Once you've confirmed your email address, you can go ahead and log in. And uh, we'll go ahead and do that really quickly. And just hit submit. And you're in. Boom. You have created an Android file host account. Now, this is just a user account. There are some preferences in here, which is really nice. So let me show you how to do that. So basically, you can log out and you can go to settings. So in settings, this is your dashboard. These are the preferences that you get. You can change your screen name. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll do that really quickly. Just to show you. Uh, junkie. Boom. Right. Claim screen name. Looks like it's available. So that's pretty cool. You can go back to dashboard and you can update some preferences, which is basically your time zone. You can uh, change some notification settings. So if you want to receive emails or not by different developers that you follow, you can do that. You can change your email, change your password. And then this is probably the main one. You can request developer status. And that's what I want to show you guys today. So you come in here and you request developer status. What developer status does is it allows you to upload files to the server. That's really it. So. So this gives you a little warning here, developer access is only needed if you want the ability to upload files so that other people can download them. That's the concept of this. So I'm going to go ahead and say request developer access. And then it asks you to give a reason why you want developer access. I mean, are you an Android developer? That's the reason for this, so that you can host your files and this server so that your followers and people that like your development can then download those said files. So you come in here and um, this is for obviously for Android developers. So you come in here and like you'd say, you know, uh, I develop, you know, ROMs for the Nexus 6, for example. And then, you know, you know just give them some information, say, you know, here's my fourth thread on XDA, you know, blah, 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 you know, just whatever you want to do and just give them some basic information so that the admin can see this and say okay you're not a bot first of all and then they can say okay he needs developer access because he's gonna start hosting his ROMs with us pretty much it so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna be get developer access and uh, be good to go now from what I understand is most people can get developer access very simply and it's very easy so let's go ahead and request this all right, your request for developer access will be processed. Don't call us, <laughs> we'll call you. So basically, what's gonna happen is when they get that notification, that'll come back and you'll get developer access. The difference that you'll see with developer access is when you go into your dashboard, right here it says user, okay? When you get developer access, you will get another tab here that should say developer. When you have that, it means you have developer access. You should get a notification in the email account you registered in telling you that, but that's where you're going to see that in your device. And when you have that, then you can start uploading your files through their service. So stay tuned for that video. I'm going to talk about how to upload files and different methods you can use along with FTP access in some future videos. That's going to wrap it up for me on Android File House, creating an account and requesting developer access. I hope this was informative for you. Stay tuned for more videos, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out. Thank you.